Thank you for joining us for the Two Minute Drills. I'm Aaron Talegian, joined by Steve Ramirez, and behind the camera, Fred J. Robledo. Mm -hmm. One of the better leagues uh, around, uh, at least after the non-league campaign. Um, and there's really kind of only one local in it as far as our purposes. But nonetheless, uh, one of the better leagues around in the southern section is the Freeway League. Going into league play, Stevie, every team in this league, and Freddie, every team in this league has a winning record. And there's a 5-0 and team, but wait, it's not La Habra, yeah. which has won eight league titles in a row. It's their neighbor, Sonora. Yeah, yeah. They're 5-0. Yeah. and That's the game we're going to talk about right now. We're going to talk about La Habra hosting Sonora, 5-0 and against 4-1. and and the 5-0 and isn't La Habra. Yeah, I, mean, I keep, yeah. keep having to say this to people yeah. because La Habra is like the marquee team in yeah. this league. And here you have Sonora, mm -hmm. you know, coming a few blocks over uh, yeah. with the 5-0 and record and the confidence to yeah. think, hey, maybe we yeah. can, you know, yeah. knock them from their perch. Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, last year they started out 4-0 and and I think they wound up 4-6. Um, you had to say that, yeah. honestly. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, ruin. <laughs> that's, you know, that... that, that that's a you know that's just kind of the the case of it, but um, um, so they've had two pretty good starts, and and uh, the the difference I think is the teams they have played this year, uh, uh, the first four games anyway, they were blowing out those teams. Mm -hmm. um, right. Last year, uh, or not last year, last week uh, against Elisa and Legal, they won forty seven forty six. Yeah. In, in a close game, that kind of concerns you. You know, because that's a little bit step up an opponent that they have been playing, and they're obviously playing it the, the the best. What I think is the best team in the league, and maybe the best team in the Southwest Division. I, I yeah, I mean San Clemente will obviously have something to say about yeah. that come playoff time. But yeah, you're right. I mean, if you want to make the case for La Habra being the outright number one, they're currently co number one. Yeah. You could do it, and the reason is because La Habra's played a very tough non league yeah. schedule. Their lone loss came to Mission Viejo, which is six and zero. Mission yeah. Viejo is now down in what we would consider D2. Mm -hmm. You know, when CIF did the redivisioning, they got bumped out of the Pac-5. Yeah. Down to D2, which they won last year. Yeah. They're on their way again, 6-0. Yeah. and oh. But their lowest scoring output of the season came against La Habra, yeah. 24 points. And Coach yeah. Frank Mazzotto wanted me to remind everybody, or wanted to remind me, that 17 of those points were only given up by the defense. Yeah. So you look at it in that context, and, yeah. and really, it was a 24-14 loss for, for La Habra to Mission Diego. They only gave up 17 mm -hmm. points on defense. That's a heck of a job. They're only allowing 13 points per game. Yeah. Defense is what kept La Habra from being elite the last few years. They got a defense now, Freddie. Yeah. Then they got that offense. Yeah. This team is about as loaded as it gets. And when we talk about teams that we cover, who could give Bishop Amat a game, it's very clear there's only one that could that could get out on the field and maybe make Amat break a sweat. Yeah. It's La Habra. Yeah. No, no I, I, I totally agree with you. And I think in this league, you know, you're looking for a great game for La Habra and you know, Sonora is probably as close as it gets. So the next week, Stevie, you're uh, saying Buena Park. Buena Park. Uh, going I, into the season, Buena Park was uh the number two team, you know, obviously an eight-time champion, you're gonna, everyone's going to pick La Habra. But, uh, I, I, but I just think those teams are distant number twos and threes. Mm -hmm. I really think, you know, this is, you know, La Habra plays that tough non-league schedule. We know yeah. what they're all about. I mean, this is a team that, um, you, you know, they could play in the Pac-5. They could play with a lot of teams in the Pac-5. And I just think in this league, they're too much for everybody, and you're looking for good games to cover. I, Sonora's undefeated. I just don't think you're going to get a close game on Friday night. I really don't. I think La Habra's going to run away with this. Well, that's going to yeah. be the question. Sonora's yeah. scoring a lot of points. Yeah. I think they're averaging 30-something points a game. Uh, obviously not against any teams like La Habra. No. Can yeah. they keep scoring, and can they yeah. do it into the teeth of this La Habra yeah. defense? Because if they can't, yeah. this one's going to turn into what Freddie said, yeah. you know, a blow -off. What I, You know, I, I covered the La Habra uh, Mission VAL game, and that, they were very tough to run on. And that's kind of what Sonora does. They have a, the running back, Jacob Fimbres, who I think he rushed for 1,600, 1,700 yards last year. He's closing in on 1,000 this year. Uh, so he's kind of their, their guy, their go-to guy. And La Habra, from what I saw, is very good against the run. They're pretty decent against the pass. But if they, if they can shut him down and create them one-dimensional, it's going to be a long, long day uh, for, for Cole McDonald, who's, who is the, the quarterback for Sonora. Um, and La Habra's offense, 
no, I don't think any team in that league is going is going to be able to stop them. Yeah, very so. good quarterback and Eric Barrier. Um, three yeah. touchdowns at the end of the day. I'm glad he's yeah. I think we're being nice. Actually, at the end of the day. I think this could be. You know, I think this is looking like a 56-10 type mm. game. Yeah. I, I really do. This is yeah. this, trying to this be nice is, to Sonora. You know, they, Mahabra is a, just a different animal. I mean, we talk about those elite teams, Freddie, from back in the mid 2000s that used to whip up on South Hills. Yeah. I mean, they still whip up on South Hills, but you know those good <laughs> South Hills teams yeah. and go on and win CIF. This is that type of team. Yeah. This is the type of team that if they're not in the finals against San Clemente, something's wrong. Yeah. Um, and I think they're going to be there. So, yeah. w- really, I'm getting excited to see. Why couldn't why can we get what, that Valley game, La Habra and Bishop Amat, this year? That would have been an yeah, epic. Yeah, I mean, for, you know, uh, forget but, the colony. This That would have been a game for them to play. But, yeah, but, but nonetheless, yeah. I mean, we should all be excited about what lays yeah. ahead for La, yeah. La Habra because. Yeah. You know they're going to probably be nine and one going into the playoffs, and they'll probably be a one or a two seed. Um, and that's the one team. When I look at all the teams that we cover across our three zones, I think La Habra is the strongest bet to be playing that fourteenth game. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I can't see where they're not in in, in the championship game. This is, I think, this is a. I started. Uh, I think the first time they they put me in Whittier was two thousand ten. Uh, that was a year they had a good team, but it wasn't as good as this team. Yeah. I mean, this, this team can... Uh, they can it, do it all. Uh, I mean... There's no weakness uh, I mean, really, yeah. On, off- on offense, they they can put up 40 points a game, yeah. you know, just like that. And they're playing great defensively. And right. what what really opened my eyes to this year's team is, is that Mission Bay Hill game. That, that was a game... Yeah. They, they could have easily won that game because they had... The, they had like three chances in the in the red zone where they didn't put up points. Yeah. And if, if they just get ten points, you know, if they score a touchdown and a field goal, uh, they win that game. Frank so, Mazzotta, baby. Yeah, so, we we don't give the guy yeah. enough credit or yeah. talk about it enough. What a job he's yeah. done in yeah. his eighteen years there. Yeah. Uh, he's knocking yeah. on the door of another title. Certainly they look like a great bet to win their ninth straight freeway league title. But Sonora's coming in full of confidence of five and zero. Oh. So we'll see. That should be a great crowd, yeah. Stevie. Should be a great environment. And we'll see if Sonora can stack up to Big Brother on Friday night. Everybody get out to La Habra and watch it.